listening to Standards in 10 Minutes from The Standard Show, the podcast that brings you the stories behind the standards with Matthew Childs and Cindy Parakil. Hello, my name is Matthew Childs. And I'm Cindy Parakil. And this Standard in 10 Minutes is BS 10125, Vehicle Damage Repair. Here are 10 things you need to know. Number one, what the standard is all about. The British standard BS 10125 is all about vehicle damage repair. It provides clear, relevant and practical best practice requirements on how to carry out safe and high quality repairs to accident damaged vehicles, repairs undertaken at fixed facilities or through the provision of a mobile service. BS 10125 focuses on the four key elements of repair, methods, people, equipment and materials, as well as repair process management, with an emphasis on continual improvement. As a result, BS 10125 directs the automotive repair sector to the achievement of safe and technically sound repairs. Number two, why the standard has been developed. The standard BS 10125 2022 is the latest fully revised version of a document that was first published as PAS 125 in 2006 and then as a British standard in 2014. Since 2014, BS 10125 has been an important standard in the automotive sector for helping body shops and garages to demonstrate their commitment to quality. The latest version of the standard now reflects the latest technological developments in the sector, including the rising number of hybrid and electric vehicles needing repair. Revising and updating the standard is important. It ensures the document stays relevant to the future of the automotive repair sector. Number three, what are the major changes? The major changes to the standard BS 10125 include clarification of the standard scope, bringing a clear focus on the preparation for repair and reinstatement of vehicle systems, significant changes and clarification regarding proof of competence options, clarification of repair process management requirements, including the records which need to be retained, amendments to claims of conformance requirements to the standard, and amendments and updates for managing ADAS, or Advanced Driver Assistance Systems, electric vehicles, and other technology advances in vehicle repair. Number four, who the standard is for. The standard BS 10125 is for use by a wide variety of organizations in the automotive sector. These include garages, body shops, accident repair centers, and mobile repair service providers, vehicle insurance companies and accident management companies, vehicle manufacturers, training organizations, and road safety agencies and road safety consumer representatives. Number five, what's in the standard? The standard BS 10125 specifies requirements for automotive vehicle repair processes undertaken at fixed facilities or by mobile services. And it includes a wide range of requirements for vehicle preparation, including making the vehicle safe for repair processes to commence repair processes themselves, competence of personnel, tools and equipment, parts and controlled consumables, repair process management and complaints procedures. BS 10125 also specifies the information to be included in any claim of conformity. Number six, what type of standard is it? Most standards can be categorized according to the function they need to perform. The most common category of standards is the specification, which is a highly prescriptive standard setting out detailed absolute requirements. It is commonly used for product safety purposes or for other applications where a high degree of certainty and assurance is required by its user community, as is the case for BS 10125. Number seven, 
benefits of using the standard. The standard BS125 aims to help body shops and accident repair centres carry out consistently safe, high-quality repairs to accident-damaged vehicles. And because of this, it provides a number of benefits for users of the standard. It can help users to demonstrate a commitment to road safety that differentiates a business and enhances its reputation. Embed best practice management approaches to repairs. Build customer confidence and loyalty. Enter new markets, including for the repair of hybrid and electric vehicles. Accelerate innovation and improve the efficiency in how vehicles are repaired. Develop greater expertise in vehicle repair. And to stay up to date with evolving automotive technologies and advances in how repairs are done. Alongside these benefits, BS10125 also contributes to the UN Sustainable Development Goal 4 on quality education and Goal 9 on industry, innovation and infrastructure. Number 8. How it works alongside other standards. BS10125 includes the removal and refitting or replacement of windscreens, other vehicle glazing and mechanical parts as part of the vehicle damage repair process. However, it excludes windscreen repair undertaken as a separate activity. Instead, this part of vehicle repair is covered by the standard BSAU242. BS10125 also excludes customer service, which instead is covered by the standard BS8477. Number 9. There's a kite mark too. The BSI kite mark has been informing the decision making of consumers and organisations for over 120 years. It's recognised as a symbol of quality, safety and trust. Kite mark certification means that a claim about a product or a service has been independently and repeatedly tested by experts. The BSI kite mark for vehicle damage repair is widely accepted by automotive manufacturers, insurance companies and work providers. Developed by industry experts, the kite mark guarantees compliance with the BSI 10125 standard, allowing body shops to deliver safe repairs and benefit from a nationally recognised certification. Number 10. The people involved in developing the standard. The standard BS 10125 was developed through consensus with a wide range of stakeholders. These include Eurocar Parts Limited, the Institute of Automotive Engineer Assessors, the National Body Repair Association, and the Society of Motor Manufacturers and Traders. So, there you have it. A standard in 10 minutes. BS 125. Vehicle Damage Repair. You have been listening to Standards in 10 Minutes from The Standard Show. Subscribe to us now wherever you get your podcasts. You just heard a stripped media production.